What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. All right, this song, this song. I've never heard it. Uh, my brother-in-law suggested it for, for the series. And I knew as soon as he suggested it, what I know about him, that it was gonna be silly, the title. So I said from the beginning, I, he's just trying to set me up for some song that people did listen to just to have me listen to some uh, ridiculous song. And then I saw other people writing it in responses, uh, uh, suggestions for songs for me to listen to. I felt like, okay, maybe this was a classic and maybe I should set aside my prejudices about the song without it. I haven't even heard it. So let's give it a shot. So I put it on the second list and now it's time for For Fiat, For That Fuck by Swulo and Electric Boys. I'll just say from, just from the title and from what I know about the people that suggested it to me that my expectations aren't that high for the song and I won't take it too seriously. So let's just see what happens. A bit about the song, it was released in 1989 and then uh, later in 1990, officially on, an, uh, on the album, Ride on. So I'm guessing that it might have been another part of those, like a Roni Ragge, it might have been part of that type of uh, culture. The, when it says Ride on, I think of the uh, Ragare. So maybe, I could be wrong. The song was the second best selling song in the country in 1990. I haven't seen it yet, but I just want to highlight that again. Second best selling song, Sweden. This is what you thought was the second best song in 1990. Yep, yep. That's all I'm saying. It charted for nine weeks on Sven Stoppen and it peaked at number six. The song was written by Michael Dubois. That's a singer, actor, uh, performing under the alternate stage name Sfullo and the lead singer of the Electric Boys, uh, Connie Bloom. They wrote the song. Apparently the song is about being too fat to get lucky with the ladies. Uh, I initially thought <laughs> that it was gonna be about ladies being too fat to be sexually desirable and I'm pretty glad I was wrong about that because that would be uh, <laughs> what they will call these days problematic. But uh, it's still um, a version of fat shaming, I'm guessing. But fat shaming itself, you know, self-deprecating humor is uh, it's the easiest way. As a comedian, I understand that. I know already that I'm in for a ride. <laughs> it's a, that makes it uh, the title of their album uh, apply a lot to this. I'm in for a ride. Let's ride. Uh, let's dig into this obvious joke song, Fur Fiat, For That Fuck, by Svullo and Electric Boys. Right on, right on, everybody. That is Svullo. <laughs> wow, schysst rhythm, huh? Nu ska vi ha gitarrerna. En, två, en, två, tre, fyr, kom! Nej! Vi ska ha gitarrer! I immediately think of uh, Walk This Way for some reason. Run DMC combined with uh, uh, Aerosmith. Um, immediately. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Let's go.
<laughs> it's funny. It's fun too, and uh, uh, I like the chorus a lot too. Can't see, <laughs> can't see down to the to the gravel because the stomach's in the way. Okay. <laughs> black guy is is the black dude always gets a little suspicious of the one black guy hanging out with all the white dudes is this guy part of electric boys or was this somebody they brought in just because it sounds like a a, a pop rap type of song i don't know somebody let me know in the comments who is this black guy with them or is it just they brought the black friend out for the video that's rapish <laughs> Okay, uh, sorry about the, uh, there was obviously something wrong with the video at the end, but I got the point. This is a very silly song. Some of it's too silly, like, I don't know, I'm not into the, the super slapstick, you know, but walking into the pole, it's like, okay. But yeah, it was, uh, the production of this, it sounds like a good, like I said, Walk This Way is one of the, it's an iconic uh, rap song in, uh, from the 80s. And it reminds me a lot of that with the guitar mixed with the, like the basic hip hop elements of sound right there with that. Especially the scratch, they had a scratch break in there too. They really did a, put a good like uh, rap soundtrack behind uh, the song. And I, I could appreciate that. Is it a banger? I could see the appeal of the song. I just can't call that a banger, but it was a fun song, a fun experience to watch this uh, silly ass joke song. Uh, for fit, for the fuck. And um, it's not as um, offensive as I thought it might be. I thought it might be just like straight up offensive, but no, I didn't uh, I didn't find it offensive. But it was fun, and uh, thanks for the suggestion. And that was uh, Sfulo and Electric Boys, for fit, for the fuck, for the fuck, as they said it. Thanks for watching this video. Please spread the word, let other people know that there's this American comedian living in Sweden that's reacting to Swedish classics. I made a video with the next songs that I'll be doing. So check that video out and leave any suggestions on that video. I'll be checking that for suggestions for the third list as I work through this uh, second list. So stay tuned, I might have some su surprises that I throw in there uh, as well, some surprise reactions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, as I said, spread the word. Thanks so much for checking this video out. The next uh, reaction is gonna be to a much requested group Imperiet and the song is Mark Hur Vor Skuga. So I'm looking forward to that. Stay tuned. It'll be coming to you later this week. So uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you next classic. Peace.